Hello, my name is Minji Kang from Youth Cultural Corporation. Today, we are going to talk about the place we have changed a lot through the history. And the place you will visit today is the northern part of the capital of Joseon, which was also called Bukchon Village. In this place, there are eight views, which is the most beautiful place in this village. And today, we will look around the second view of this village. This is the map of capital of Joseon, which was also called Susan Jeondo. The capital of Joseon was called Hanyang. If you see the northern part of the Han River, you can see that there are very many palaces such as Gyeongbokgung, Changdeokgung, Changgyeonggung, Gyeongunggung, and Gyeonggi-gung Palace. And between those palaces, you can see very small village. And this village is called Bukchon Village. And today we will visit this Bukchon Village. In this Bukchon Village, there are high-ranked officials or noblemen lived. Because around them, you can see very many palaces. And during the Joseon Dynasty, Many of the high-ranked officials and noblemen usually worked at the palace. If you look at this picture, you can see many houses are closely attached together. But during the Joseon Dynasty, most of the houses are located separately. Then why those these houses in Bukchon village are closely attached? In 1930s, huge hanok of high-ranked officials started to disappear. Because during the late Joseon Dynasty period, many of the high-ranked officials lose their power. So they don't have enough money or strength to keep their huge houses. So they started to destroy the huge houses and build small houses closely attached. And that's why this village houses are closely attached together, unlike the other houses in Joseon Dynasty. So it can be the one differences from the past. And also, if you look at this picture closely, you cannot see the straw-roofed houses where usually commoners lived. As I mentioned before, in this village, most of the people who lived here were high-ranked officials and noblemen. And during the Joseon Dynasty, most of the high-ranked officials and noblemen usually lived in tiled roof houses. And that's why in this Bukchon village, you can only see tiled roof houses. Before we talked about the features of the Bukchon Hanuks and also about the Bukchon village history. And then let's go to the second view of Bukchon. As I mentioned, Bukchon was an area for rich noblemen state, but actually sometimes commoners or lower ranked officials lived here too. The second view of Bukchon is the way of Wansadong village. In here, you can see very many small craft shops located in the west side of Changdeokgung Palace. And this is why this village is called Wonsadong, meaning the west. In here, commoners or lower ranked officials who worked in Changdeokgung Palace usually lived here. So in here, second view of Bukchon, you can see many old houses, stores, or craft shops. And these things are showing a beauty of Hambo. In here, there are places like Palace Food Research Institute, but also the laundry site for the commoners. At the end of the way, we can see some trays that showing the life of commoners. And this is used for laundry site. Here, commoners usually did laundry. And also, if you see closely, you can see clean water passing through. 
And this clean water is came from Sangdokgung Palace. The commoners usually use this water that palace women washed king and queen's clothes. In Joseon Dynasty, palace women washed the king and queen's clothes with kinds of soap. And normal people are not easy to have this because they are very expensive. And that's why commoners use the water from palace which has soap water.